Today I'm going to talk about an extraordinary lake that uh, most of you must know about. It is the Lake Karachai. In 1945, after the United States attacked Japan and the Second World War ended in Europe, Stalin realized that the USSR also made nuclear weapons and they have to produce them as soon as possible, no matter what is the cost. The nuclear weapons needed plutonium and a place to process. The chemical plant was built in the Russian SFSR, uh, on the southern side of the Ural Mountains, near to the borders of the Kazakh SSR. A whole town was built there called Chelyabinsk 14. In 1948, the factory was working so well faithfully to the socialist regime, at least that's what everyone thought. As usual, safety wasn't the main viewpoint, especially the nuclear waste, Everything useless was thrown into a nearby river. After three years, the Soviets decided to measure the radiation level, and the device detected five rangans an hour. 7,500 citizens were evacuated from the region, dams were built, and the nuclear waste uh, was relocated uh, into the 110 uh, acres large Lake Karachai. Mm. In uh, 1957, things became worse. After a half decade, the workers started to show a radiation-related illness. Uh, symptoms like high fever, vomiting, weight loss and general weakness. And because of a wall failure, one of the containers heated up to 350 Celsius and then the vapor exploded. The radiation level was as much, as half as much as the disaster of Chernobyl. In 1967 was a brutal drought and the lake started to dry out. Uh, Spontium and cesium came to the surface and in a few months the wind carried the radioactive powder everywhere. The Soviets tried to bury the lake bed with concrete and then cover it up with lead. Uh, but as soon as the plan was made, the biggest problem so far occurred. The Soviet Union collapsed and without the Communist Party, there was no one to care about the radiation or the lake. And this is why the lake characterized counted to uh, uh, nowadays, one of the most dangerous places on Earth. Some say it's even more dangerous than the reactor 4 of Chernobyl. In my personal opinion, that would be ridiculous. After all, in reactor 4, only a few minutes are enough to kill anything organic, while at the coast of the lake, you'd need to spend an hour to get a deadly radioactive dose. So, the theory is as fake as it is. Now, are there any questions? Then I would like to thank you for the attention. You've been a great audience.